Five here from Piggy Chicken Gaming, and I'm here with another episode with Razlite789, where today we will be showcasing one of our latest maps. Now, before I get started, I just want to tell you guys that um, we have been throwing out a map, or at, sometimes even two, a week, which is really cool because we make these really cool things, so you should go check them out in the description below. But anyways, I just want to thank you guys because um, all of you people that have downloaded our maps, guess how much money we've made. That That's right. We've made money off of these maps. Are you ready for the grand total? Nick, give me a drum roll. The grand total is 13.1 cents. <laughs> yeah, we're rich. <laughs> So, but hopefully, if we keep growing and you guys really like our maps a lot, we can get a lot more, and then we'll be able to buy new recording stuff and all this new stuff just for you guys. And, um, yeah. So, I just want to say thank you for all that. Now, what you guys came here to see. So, yes, we made mob traps in vanilla Minecraft. You know those little bear traps? Yeah. We're, we made those. And it's pretty cool, actually. We threw it together pretty quickly. So don't worry about this. This is just the book. Um, so all of it is all fitted into this little box up here, which is really cool. So we got some nice... That's what you get. Probably gonna have to... Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> So anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how this works. <laughs> I got bored. So all you have to do is craft iron bars, and if you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is take six iron, like this, put them into a crafting table, go like that, and then you got yourself a lot of traps. So this, actually I'm going to need a lot of these. Um... So, here's what you gotta do. You gotta just take one of these, walk up to any area you want, like in front of your house, in front of your doorway, or whatever you wanna do, wherever you wanna put them. You just throw it on the ground. And then you get this pretty cool looking bear trap, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it's very simple looking. And you can actually throw down as many as you want, except, remember this, guys. Um, <laughs> sorry about that you do not want to put them too close together because that could cause a lot of redstone problems so I'd say the maximum is probably and the minimum is probably that far and try not to even get them that far that close together um so before I show you how they work to get rid of them I didn't say this in the book so you're going to need this now you take you have to craft a stone button just put a piece of stone into a crafting table I think Right, yeah. And then you just throw it down on top of it. Well, I guess that just ruined the whole effect. So that's why you don't put them next to each other. Um, because it will do that to buttons too. So this is how it works. Let's say we got nice uh what do I want to use it on? He's a creeper. They take a creeper, here he is, walks up to the trap, bam, caught in the trap. So the trap closes, has that nice little anvil sound. And then he cannot move. <laughs> now the funny part is, uh, I don't know why we did it like this, but we made it so they're basically stunned. So we kind of like paralyze them. So he will not move at all. So you just wait there. You're sitting in your house reading your books and stuff. And then all of a sudden you hear, ding, walk outside. You got some pigs. Want to just slam up. Oops, sorry about that. And then you got this. So, um, this is really helpful, but make sure you have the buns, because it's kind of ugly to just have these all over the place. You want to just get rid of those. So, yeah, this is a really useful tool. So, say it's, like, nighttime, and you just happen to be in survival and have a horde of zombies after you. Why did I take... I'm an idiot. So, you got these guys after you your game mode S and oh no they're coming to attack you boom boom well that was okay so there are some glitches don't throw them down too fast one after another what the heck 
Oh yeah. So that is exactly why you don't throw him down too fast. It will break your game and do that. So this guy's dead. Uh, get you. And you. So yeah, the only way you can do it so you can throw down a lot of time is you have to throw him quickly. So like, that's it. That's about as much, as fast as you can do it. You can also do this. <laughs> you can make air ones. Oh god! <laughs> well, anyways. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Ready for this? Where are you? Dead. Oh, hi. Dead. 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 Ooh, that didn't work. Oh, no. Well, that's not gonna work. And if you're having problems with that, like you can't get them gone, just type in this command. Unless you have other armor stands, then probably don't do it. Just kill it all into these type equals armor stand, and they will go away. Um. So yeah, that pretty much covers it. Uh, whatever. I don't need that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Go download this. Um. Cool little contraption we got here. Oh, by the way, keep a lookout. We're going to do a lot more of these little things. And at some point, we are going to kind of mix them all together into one world. So you have the most epic survive world ever in vanilla Minecraft. So we're going to have this. We're going to have those lucky blocks that we made in vanilla Minecraft. Go check those out, too, which was really cool. Um, we're going to have some other stuff that we made that I can't remember for some reason. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go check out Razlight 799s channel in the description below. Get the rest of our maps. And yeah, that's about it. I will see you in the next episode.